Yo, what up is done? Sammy Lee here. Oh my god. So brother, bro. baby. I got two pairs of these. I, I got I got a pair on the Nike app and then uh they had a pair out and I was able to get a pair Ooh, at rich? Nike Grove. No, I'm not. Um but yeah, so I got two pairs and there you go. Well, I got one pair, <laughs> uh, but we, at least we both have a pair. We had to go down to uh, Nike, uh, for at least for me, he caught my pair. Sam caught his theirs too. And uh, wow, this is this is them. 350 bucks? Almost, uh, almost 400. Basically 400. Yeah, with in tax. California with tax. Yes. So. Uh, freaking expensive. The packaging is great uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, really uh, crazy box. Yes. Whole setup. I mean, you're getting quite a few things. So in the box, of course you get the shoe you get really really nice uh, inserts to keep the shape of the shoe like nice plastic ones <laughs> okay um, you get the uh, Chi charger which has yes. two Chi pods on it of course for each shoe yes that comes with a USB-C cord, USB -C cord uh, that with plug, a... it's USB-C to USB yes and the USB plugs into the wall yes uh, but you can use any USB-C cord I, I would assume yeah I'm not sure what the exact specs are of the brick but yeah, you're probably good to go anyways, but uh, and then the whole box is pretty crazy the way they have it done. Yeah, so uh, we'll get into the technology and everything later, but let's get it started with just like the actual shoe, which we want to see the actual performance of the shoe, right? So let's get it started with the traction. The traction, you got circles and lines. Yep. Circles and lines, hella translucent, crazy bite, yeah. crazy bite. I mean, they had, a, they had like a, a whole thing set up for the yeah. adapt. And there was like hardwood court floors there, yeah. and it was just oh man, violently biting. Yeah, it's very violent. Yeah. So uh, on a clean court, I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. On a dusty court, we're not sure. We haven't tried it on a dusty uh, surface yet. We haven't played in these, um, but yeah, it seems like it's picking up a little bit of dust. Yeah. So that does worry me a little bit, especially since it is a translucent outsole. So we'll have to see on that durability as well um it's pretty soft it is pretty soft it is pretty deep though but it like it kind of reminds me of like you know the Kyrie tube boots yeah like kind of like you know long and thin yeah so uh we'll have to see i feel like it might fray and maybe like some parts might even rip off so uh we'll have to see on that but durability doesn't seem too good because the rubber is pretty soft but overall i feel like just like walking around in it it was like really nice on the nike floor that they had there mm -hmm. which was immaculate you know so there's that. Moving on to the cushion. The cushion is just full length cushion, which is actually really nice. That's cushion what they, is dope. Yeah, that's what they use in the Kyrie 4. Yeah. Pretty thick. Uh, there's a good, like, and the heel is really caged. Yeah. Like the rubber here is really caged. So there's not a lot of crazy, like, heel compression just like right there. But like on the sides, there is a good amount of heel compression, which feels nice. Reminds me somewhat of the uh, Exodus. Mm, Even the look bit. of it, yeah. you know what I mean? And there also is a little bit of a curve up so that you can have a little bit more of a smoother heel to toe transition rather than like a really square shape. So that's a little bit nice as well. And also it curves up a lot here in the forefoot as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, that kind of helps with, you know, rocking this rocking motion you know, for a smooth, smoother heel to toe transition. But overall, it feels nice. Uh, Core feel doesn't seem like the best though, to be honest. Yeah, you, you do feel like, you know, a nice little slab under your foot. Yeah. But you know, there's a lot going on in the shoe. I'm not sure where they're hiding all the electronics, but there's definitely some going on in there because you have some lights yes. um, and buttons here in the midsole. Yes. So, you know, it's not gonna be the um, the shallowest, uh, thinnest midsole. But the cushion feels pretty nice. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so there's that. Moving on to the materials. Uh, what are they calling this? I don't know. It's like a, you know it's what like it reminds me? a screen mesh. It reminds me of the 360 a little bit. Yeah, it does. Just like, just like how thin and see-through it is. It's like a very weird, <clears throat> intricate wo uh, a weave as well. Yeah. Um, and there's, you know, definitely some type of TPU plastic vibe to it. So like it's coated or something. Yeah, so there's that. Have you seen this? Like the yeah, white part? Yeah. So there's like two layers. So there's one that's the knit, obviously, the screen knit, which I guess that's what we're going to call it. And then there's another like white, it looks kind of like a waffle pattern or something. Mm -hmm. And um, so it is double layered. It's, and also in the toe, you see that? Yeah. It kind of comes up. I don't know what that is. Maybe like a little bit of plastic or something, but I guess that'll help like contain your foot in. Yeah. You know, especially like it's basically throughout the entire uh, forefoot here. Yeah. So that'll help a little bit with containment and support. Um, but materials are actually really nice. Yeah, they, they feel really nice. Yeah. Um, they feel 
like they're pretty light, you know, it, I'm sure they try to keep it real minimal with the materials because they're adding weight to, with other stuff. Yes. But not too bad. You have this stretchy knit pull tab on top yep. and then some neoprene around the ankle. Um, just a real standard uh, insole sock liner. And one thing I didn't know is there's actually a tongue in this shoe. Yeah. So like underneath everything, there's a tongue here. If you see the actual tongue, you can see the, uh, the wires. The, I guess kind of like it's cables. The, the cables or laces or whatever you want to call it. And that's what tightens, obviously. But yeah, so there's that. You have an external TPO heel counter, which really reminds me of the Kobe Exodus. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall materials are super nice. Moving on to the fit. I went through the size, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. The, the guy was even in the store saying he, you should even go up half a size because it, you know, you, you, it can really strangle your foot. And it does. And, yeah, it does. And it's yeah. somewhat narrow. So, but yeah, more so true to size, you'd probably be good. Yes. Um, width wise, though, I, I'd say what? Like around normal. It's not yeah. super narrow, which is nice. Yeah. You know, so uh, if you're a wide footer, you should probably go up half a size you should be okay if you're a normal width then uh, this is a good fit for you and if you're a narrow foot that should be fine because of this system which we'll get into right now yeah it's called fit adapt all right so this system is really interesting so there's two buttons here on the lateral side of the midsole so the button towards the toe if you press it it tightens and if you press the one near the heel it loosens the shoe i believe um so there there's that uh, also, another thing that's really cool is that you just slide your foot in and then the shoe knows that you put your foot in and then it tightens automatically. So you don't have to like bend over and tighten or whatever, you know, yeah. it automatically remembers what, you know, what your... What, what calibration you have. Exactly. So, with, with, you know, in using the app, uh, there, there is an app. It's actually a really well done app. Uh, should we talk about that now? Sure. Yeah, the, the app is pretty well done. It's very, very simple, but it's just super clean and well executed. So in the app, you can, um, you know, change the different colors of uh, the, the actual app Ooh. where you're looking at it. Ooh. And I thought it was just changing the color of the app, but it actually <laughs> changed the colors on the on the on these light up buttons in the midsole. I can't get the app because I'm a peasant and I have the iPhone 6s. You see, you see the peasant. He, 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 he has a new one, so he can download the app. I was like, what? Yeah. So I, I I don't really know about the app, but um, yeah. So there's that. You can also go in and uh, change. You can calibrate the shoe uh, to your exact specifications. Yep. You can tighten it. Um, there's a button to loosen it all the way. There's a battery button to check the the battery power each shoe individually. Um, so that's so that's pretty much the rundown of the app. However, I did calibrate my shoes uh, already, mm -hmm. and I stuck my shoe in. You know, like I just uh, I stuck my foot in the shoe just like I was getting ready to put them on, and it didn't go back to the calibration I had. So I don't know. It's weird. And also another thing is like the automatic you know fit thing doesn't always work. Yeah. It, it kind you know like you slide it on. And it's supposed to automatically work like in the hyper adapt there was like a sensor in the heel and it worked every single time it was really really nice yeah. but for some reason like mine mine it, it doesn't do that yeah it doesn't start to go right like you put your foot in and it yeah. just the right one goes the left one doesn't and it's like it takes like 10 15 seconds for it to yeah. register or something so i don't know what's going on there also another cool thing is if you press both of the buttons at the same time uh what when you have the desired i guess tension of in your laces uh, it remembers that calibration and then uh, right when you put on the shoe, it's supposed to go to that tightness. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's cool. really cool as well. Uh, but yeah, it's really handy. You just slide it on, you're good to go. Yeah, it, it's like it. pretty efficient. Yeah. You know, it, it's not really over the top gimmicky. I mean, you can kind of reach down, tighten your shoe, loosen your shoe, uh, and you hold this rear button down uh, for a, a, you know, a few seconds and it goes all into automatic um, loosening. To, to all the way loose, so that, that's pretty cool too. You know what sucks though? Is it's super loud and pretty damn yeah, slow. Yeah, it's like, pretty loud, yeah. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, it's kind know? of crazy sounding. Yeah. So, um, but it is really cool. So if they can make it, make the engine a little bit faster in you know, you know, the next model and a little bit quieter, I guess, that would be cool as well. Yeah, faster would be huge. Yes. So. Um, so there's there's the lacing system there. Moving on to support and lockdown. Support and lockdown seems like it's gonna be really good. I mean, uh, you have this little plastic thing, like I said, that's like kind of like in the toe. 
that feels like it's going to support you especially for lateral, uh, lateral containment also the the foam does come up as well and you have the external tpu heel clip and all that so it's supporting lockdown seems like it's going to be really good and also you have an outrigger so you're going to be laterally stable it's a pretty wide base pretty wide shoe as well so and you, yeah and you can crank these laces really really tight really if you're tight. tripping on that um you know yes. you can get it somewhat loose but you can really get it tight yeah which is nice uh, I want, I'm curious about the weight. Yeah, it I am too. It feels heavy. It feels heavy in hand, but on foot, I feel it feel kind of light. Yeah, I think it's because of the materials. I don't know. What do you think? 14. I, I'd say 14. 14? Yeah. It feels pretty, pretty I'm going to say 13. Really? Oh, 14. 15. 14.96. 14. 15 ounces, dude. Heavy I can't as shit, it. bruh. Um, so, yeah, obviously. That's the downside of the technology. It's gonna, it makes the entire shoe like a little bit thicker because you know you have to cushion, you know, like the force and like when you're landing, you don't want all that force to go on your machine, like your, the, your gearbox and all that. Yeah. And so it makes the, the cushion a little bit thicker. It makes the overall shoe heavier. So that's a little, like a downside of this technology, but obviously there is room for improvement in the future. But that's just how it is right now. But yeah, 15 ounces, that's freaking heavy. Yeah. It's a low top and it's as heavy as a LeBron 16. Yeah. Oh no, it's a little bit light. I think LeBron 16 is like 15.5 ounces. But mm -hmm. still, this is pretty heavy. And all, all, all that weight is coming from this. So like the materials are really thin and light. So yeah. Uh, there's that. Aesthetics. I love it, dude. Especially this yeah. 3M, dude. I, I wouldn't say I love it, but they, they definitely look pretty dope. In person, yeah, uh, they're a little tall though. We yeah, were talking about that earlier, it's kind of weird. I don't like that. Yeah, if it was a little uh, thinner as far as height wise, I, I think I would like it better. But yeah, they look pretty dope in person. They definitely are kind of flashy. Yeah, and they look like something different. I also don't like the little dots on the midsole. Yeah, um, but yeah, overall, especially on foot, it looks really really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, anyways, three hundred and fifty bucks, Ooh. guys. Uh, super expensive, and I this is not gonna be like a, you know, just uh regular shoes you, you you gotta be i guess into this kind of stuff like the yeah, future and tech, the tech and stuff you know even if you're like an avid hooper you probably wouldn't wouldn't really yes. want to cop this yeah necessarily but it seems like it's gonna be a good performance it though. does you know cushion seems nice traction seems really good materials are nice support is there it seems like fit obviously is gonna be really good because of the uh fit adapt system so i feel like it's gonna be a really good performer but we'll have to see. Yeah. We'll have to see. Uh, we'll, uh, one thing that I am worried about is the dust. So yeah, there is our first impressions of the Adapt BB. It's really good, and I, I, we really don't think it's gonna be a gimmick. I don't. Yeah. I, I think I'm. I do. I'm. I'm anticipating this might be in my rotation. <laughs> this you guy. Know? Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, performance review will be coming soon. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next one. Later. Peace.